So I'm uh, I'm Chian. Uh, I what do I do? What do I do? So I I'm, I'm like a front end person. Yeah. Anyway, like JavaScript front end, uh, and I do a lot of uh, side projects, my own side projects. So this is just one of my side projects. I call it a uh, taxi router SV. Um, anyway, so this is just like one of the simple simple uh, uh, apps that I build. So this is not very JavaScript-ish, ish, but it's more like a app thing. Yeah. So anyway, let me just jump straight to like the app itself, I guess. So, So it looks like this. Uh, those are taxi stands, uh, but I guess like my mistake is I didn't show the actual uh, taxis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So it look, looks like that. So this is like a spoiler first. Okay. So let me just jump straight to it. So there's, there was another guy uh, named Yuzin. He's not here. So he built another app called uh, well, it's not a web app, but. So he, he, he's been like scraping uh, some hidden APIs from some app and then he built this and I was like, whoa, this is so cool, man. And where do you get the data? And I'm like, oh, and he got this heat map thing that is like live or something. And then he, he stores all the data for, for the past 14 days or something. So this is like pretty cool you know, and, and changes every minute. So he kind of like inspired me to write the other app that I built. So so I look at this as like a heat map. Uh, kind of cool, you know, it looks, but you know, I want to see the actual taxis. <laughs> I want to see where they are, right? So he, over here, you can't really see much, but yeah. So it's, it's good for visualization, but I want something more useful, I think. Yeah. I don't know how to make it useful, but yeah. <laughs> so uh, the data is all thanks to these guys. Uh, yeah. And then uh, the API is somewhere here. You can read, uh, retrieve every 30 seconds, but actually 60 seconds. Because if you retrieve every 30, you get the same data back as before. It's cache. <laughs> <laughs> so I try it and I'm like, what? It's the same, like, no point. So it's actually 60 seconds. And uh, it's, it's for some reason, they really like JoeJSON, uh, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah, better than like CSV or whatever, right? <laughs> so, and then date time, da da da, it's quite simple. You know, and then, uh, API key, whatever, you know, you have to grab your own API key. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, so I try to like build one myself, like uh, like trying it out, uh, like like this, and uh, and then. So at first I was like trying to like animate the dots for some reason. <laughs> But then uh, it's every minute, so it's kind of like it's not smooth. So the dots doesn't. I can't really see it move. Every mi one minute is just too long for a taxi to like you know, to see a taxi move. <laughs> In one minute, just the taxi can move like somewhere else. Really. So it's kind of like not very useful, right? I don't know. It's cool, but not kind of. You can't see where it goes. Are, are there IDs on the taxis? No, there's no. Oh, so, so you just know. It's so it's, it's just positions, that's all. Like that attitude login is like, like an array of positions. Wow. So it's how are you gonna like, animate that? Sorry? How are you gonna animate like how how, did, how are you gonna animate one point moving to another point uh, if you don't know which point you Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. I can't yeah. <laughs> So I don't even know which yeah. which one goes where. And I'm like, oh, this is not going to work, right? <laughs> There's no IDs, uh, I don't know where they go. And then it's only available taxis. So if that taxi is taken, it will be gone. Yeah. So you can't see which taxi is like taken and still moving around, like like taken, right? Um, so these are the only available ones that no one has like flagged for the taxis. So sometimes it will just disappear from the back of the road, right? or someone has taken it. Like, somehow you know it. <laughs> so uh, not so useful, uh, but yeah, <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> so I polish it a bit uh, after a while uh, a few days later put some taxi stands just to make it somehow useful uh, and then okay 
so this is kind of like things like if, if you imagine it like the whole app right so there's around Six thousand taxis, like, like right now, available taxis. Okay. <laughs> so I have to draw like six thousand taxis on the Google Maps. So if you play around with Google Maps before, six thousand is uh, quite a lot. What, what happened to the taxis? <laughs> what is this? It's crazy. I have this problem with my Zoom. Oh, okay, so it's actually six thousand of them. Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, so uh, at first it, it's like it's like every time, every minute, I'll have to refresh, like how to say, remove all six thousand markers and re-add all six thousand again. So it's kind of like you know, you, you can see like like flash of hidden taxi <laughs> markers. <laughs> yeah, so it's like disappear and appear again because it's just too slow to render on the. Even though Google Maps is like very optimized, like it's canvas and stuff like that, but it's just still slow. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, okay, let's try to do something. So, so what I did is uh, more like. So I just did some like you know like <laughs> some visualization of how I do it. So I kind of like diff it. So every time I get it, I diff it. So I try like oh if like uh, three thousand I remove or four thousand I add it, and then the rest doesn't move, so I just stays there, don't touch the marker. So the rest are just like kind of like uh, how to say, remove. I kind kind of like mm, remove added. What am I drawing? Here? <laughs> <laughs> remove, okay, remove and then add it. Well, I kind of like move the remove markers to the added ones. So instead of like destroying the markers, I kind of reuse them back and move move to the new places. So <laughs> so and then. Uh, and then for the new ones that come, they just create new marker. So it's quite easy. Somehow it worked pretty well. So at first I thought it would be like. So at first I was thinking, it's probably a lot of them changed. Let's say six thousand taxis, probably like five thousand nine hundred ninety nine changed, right? But actually no. <laughs> so it turns out that uh, around two thousand or thousand of them didn't change at all, which is weird, because I'm I'm not comparing. Uh, like you know, like IDs or anything, right? I'm comparing exact positions of the taxi itself. The, so that taxi did not move at all for one minute. I don't know why. Traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's exactly the same. Huh? Like oh. so, and thousands of them. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> And the one comment thread about the heat map, they want to mention that a lot of taxis have cluster around areas which are the usual like this where taxi drivers go and take breaks. Oh, like, like parking at the like yes. some like yeah. But then they should turn off their GPS or something, right? Like, <laughs> 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 but they have to report back to Judy so to pretend that they're actually working in that they're not. <laughs> yeah, taxis have measured the number of hours that they're acting on the road. Oh. So even when oh. they're not actually doing anything they leave it on because it looks like they're working. Oh wow! That, that's the, their working hours. It's huh? a taxi equivalent of moving your mouse. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Another Box. possibility is that uh, it, it requires the taxi to report its position back to the server. Some of the reports are not uh, regular. So oh. technically, actually, the screen the update was uh, longer than sixty seconds. Oh. So, oh. Okay. So it's the server problem thing. Like it did update. It could be between the taxi to the server. Okay. That's Every minute, right? <laughs> so, um, and anyway, so what I did is, uh, since I already did it, I kind of like make the opacity different a bit. So it's like you can see uh, some of them are faded, so those didn't move at all. Yeah, and uh, those that move, that you, it is like normal. So like opacity 0 0.5 or whatever. It is. So it's kind of like, oh wow, that's actually a lot. <laughs> are they the same taxis or are, is it, it can be another taxi in the same location? Do you have IDs on taxis? There's no IDs, that's the thing. <laughs> so it's, it's, it can be a different taxi the exact, in the same location. Uh, yeah, it's the exact location somehow. So it's kind of like, so it, it could be like you know, that taxi move and then the other taxi take over. The <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so exact. I mean, like, <laughs> seriously. Like, <laughs> so you're not doing any rounding at all. Yeah, it's like the exact same number. Yeah, and like just equal, 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 equality, whatever thing, like three equalities, whatever. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, so when I started building this, right? So I've been looking at this taxi for a few weeks already. It's been stuck. There for a while. <laughs> it's actually quite, 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 quite scary, right? Like, so like, how oh, is it moving there? Like every day I check, and then I like, go to this bridge somewhere nearby. Yeah, somewhere there. Yeah. Did you yeah. report this one? Should I? <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, the data golf guys can see this, right? Like, they should know, right? They have the data, right? <laughs> so, like, oh, a few weeks ago, like, it's always there. So, I, I suspect the guy threw the GPS down. But then it's gone already for the last week, it's gone. Yeah. So <laughs> and, and, and I built this like two months ago, so, like, yeah. <laughs> So uh, this is why I say like some. So, so this is like when I get the data <coughs> at this, let's say at one point of time. So somehow there will be two taxis on top of each other. <laughs> so it's like yeah. So it's one of two, right? So there will be another taxi on the same position. It's not separate. It's like that that moment, you know. So I'm like what? So wait. So it could be so nearby together that uh, I don't know. <laughs> is it on top or nearby? <laughs> so this is like one of the weird things I found. Like, like I don't know why. But <laughs> if you know why, but yeah, probably the GPS is like not so accurate. Like, yeah. Car park. Sorry. Car park. Car park. So they park together. <laughs> oh, oh multi-level parking, sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. So somehow they <laughs> somehow they park the same exactly the same spot, right? Yeah. Different yeah. levels, but same spot. Yeah. So, I mean, sure. it's about 10 meters. 10 meters. Okay. 10 meters. You must get a few of those at the airport. So, it's actually not very accurate, right? It's like 10 meters range of you know, where it's or maybe, you know. maybe the taxi went to somewhere underground, so they got stuck. The last recorded, mm -hmm. they got stuck. Oh. So, the so, GPS doesn't work underground. It's not very good. There's not many satellites under there. Okay, watch. Pretty good. Well, now, now I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, I wrote a, like a whole blog post about this, but yeah, anyway, it's the same thing I'm talking about now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, I can like show some code if you want. Uh, well, actually, there's not much. Right. Forgot two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take for you to build this? How long? <laughs> Two weeks. Like, wait, one week. Yeah. Full time or? No, actually not, not one week. Three days. Three, four days. Yeah. Yeah. Can I see taxes if they're free? Sorry? Free taxes. Not high. Unhired. Yeah, only, like, only the free taxis. Yeah, this is only unhired taxis, available taxis. Yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah. Did you get any like, weird coordinates which were outside of Singapore? <laughs> you can look at it now, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's like, uh, like uh, this URL is really like taxi router that is really like, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like, uh, what do I do? So it's quite messy, uh. there's no libraries or anything for D3. That's my code. Okay. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's pure uh, vanilla JS. <laughs> vanilla JS kind of thing. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's nothing special. Uh, even my API key is like public. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of this, this trick, stupid tricks, like, like set time out, so every single marker is set time out. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, just to like make sure it's like doesn't like, you know, doesn't block the browser's UI or something. Yeah. And then well, what is this? Oh, yeah, no, the text is in the same position. Oh, if it's on the same position, I don't redraw again the text on top of it. So optimization, right? <laughs> you must be <laughs> You're kind of like useless to like, redraw it again. <laughs> so it's kind of like uh, a lot of this this weird tricks. Yeah, a lot of weird tricks. What's the um, what's the what is the icon like? Is, is that just like a what's the data type of that? Is it string? Do you just do you just pass it a um, like a URL? The like the data mark. The data is like yeah. Yeah. no 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 no, no. It's not the, the, the marker the icon the icon yeah. You mean like when rendering the marks? Yeah yeah. <laughs> icon icon. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's just it's just a it's just a PNG. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering whether you might be able to get like some like additional power out of it by like reusing SVG uh, uh, symbols or something like that. Yeah. SVG but is I actually slower. Is it? Yeah, on Google Maps. Google Maps already tried to do optimization for you. Okay. So you you convert that PNG, draw it on canvas. Right. Oh, of course. Is, yeah, sure. optimized for you already. So I, I have to use it. <laughs> yeah. I have an other point question. Yeah. Uh, regarding the icon, do you have a problem? I was having this problem when I zoom. Then my, my marker kind of expands and then it moves like back. Once around, there's this little buggy thing that happens. The marker? Yeah, remember if you, if you go to the layer where the markers are rendering fine, then I zoom in a bit more, then the markers aren't kind of rendering it. You mean on Google Maps? I think that's probably an optimization actually. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you can, your options are to redraw 6,000 markers uh, every single scroll, uh, every single zoom, and that's going to be way too much, or to um, hide them. Which is also not good. So it's sort of like a, an in-between optimization is all right. This is going to look bad, but it'll look good eventually. So like a flash of crackly style icon. There's an option. I don't think there's an option. I'm just thinking that's probably how they've, they've gone about optimizing it, so that you've got some visual feedback about where the thing is, but um, it doesn't require them to scale uh, to redraw all of them. Um, that's my guess anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay. Thank you.